Close your mouth and listen up Cause we about to turn it up Speaking for too heavy And I'm speaking for myself, Brandon Keister You're listening to our podcast Come and get a front row seat at the bleachers Get him! Good evening, boys and girls, and welcome to episode eight of the Keister and Too Heavy podcast. Today we have on John Michael Laspina. Today's episode is brought to you by Isis Spices. Tired of feeling the same old bland food? Feeling like there's something missing? Introducing Isis Spices. From the company who promises death to humanity comes their all new line of spices made with all unnatural ingredients. Crowd pleasers include Suicide Cinnamon, Beheaded Minced Garlic, and my personal favorite, Bloodshed Ground Pepper. Type in our promotional code Keister and Too Heavy to receive a buy one, get the second one for the same price. Isis Spices, ruining life one spice at a time. Welcome, John Michael Laspina, What's to up? the Keister and Too Heavy podcast. Welcome, welcome. What's up, guys? Good to be with you. Happy to have you on. Happy, uh, happy birthday, by the way. Happy belated. When's your birthday? Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo. Is your birthday really Cinco de Mayo? It is. Oh, you automatically get it off now. Fuck. Yep. That's awesome. I'm so jealous. It's a party every time. I imagine, man. <laughs> Fuck you, June 19th. So <laughs> overrated and shit. <laughs> it's the wrong date. Well, you know, fuck. My birthday, what, is like after Father's Day or some I'm shit? I'm assuming that's his birthday, right? He didn't just make up a random just date. Just a random yeah. date. This guy's naming random it's dates. It's a different date every up. year. Somebody's <laughs> listening to the podcast like, my birthday's June 19th. <laughs> <laughs> Text 647, 647 if your birthday is June 19th. Yeah, we'll let you through the phone lines and maybe you'll be able to give us a little uh, idea of what you think about your birthday. Fuck it anyways, I don't care. <laughs> fuck your birthday. Yeah, man, All fact. Right. We gotta stop dropping the fucking F word. Yeah, right. no more fucking bums. Alright, so John Michael, introduce yourself. Um, Go. John Michael Lespina. I've mm-hmm. uh, been friends with Brandon for a long time. And I'm going to do the same thing that I've heard everyone else do. I like long walks on the beach. Yes. Uh-huh. <laughs> yes, that's what I want to hear. That's the good stuff. I like long walks on the picnic. Beaches on the park. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's not how this I goes. fucked up. Shit. Quit calling me, Mom. Damn. <laughs> Hang up on her. Make sure you I love you, you Mom, if you're home. listening. I love you too, Mom. <laughs> no, I'm just a normal guy. Play music. Work a job. So let's dive in. Let's guy. dive into the music. What type of music are you into? What oh. type of music do you play? Do you listen to or do you like? Yeah, all, all of them, them. all <laughs> nine of those. All right, so it's kind of it's been a progression. I mean, whenever you first, when me and you first started hanging out, I was playing more like rock and screamo stuff. Right, which uh, <laughs> you've never heard an imitation until Brandon imitates screamo music. <laughs> I can. Yeah. I sound like a pterodactyl. Yeah, it's pretty similar to that. <laughs> he almost seems hyped, like he really wants to do it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Somebody ask me. <laughs> Uh, but he's so, like, we might lose fans if I do this. So. <laughs> That's for our premium subscribers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Don't forget to plug in the code BK and too heavy to six four seven six four seven. I've been saying that every episode. I don't that, even know if that, that might, might be a, be a real, real number. That might be a real text number. <laughs> Some, someone is at home like, God damn it again! Every, <laughs> every Monday and Tuesday. <laughs> Some oh, Uber shit. driver's like, I can't pick you up here. <laughs> Tampa, Florida. I'm what in the Cincinnati. fuck? Cincinnati. <laughs> Fuck. So, so it was uh, it was they started off with the the, the heavy metal. Yeah, it started. I guess. Well, yeah, it was it was more like a I like guess grunge. The, the genre would be like post hardcore, like screamo. Okay. Uh, then switched to like alternative. Um, now it's more indie rock, kind of mixed with R and B is what I'm kind of messing around with. Okay. Uh, just fooling around with stuff. Uh, right. Even to the point where one of your other guys, one of my friends who's been on your show before, mm-hmm. um, Mike Lake. Is right. uh, helping me kind of like mix in like a little hip hop with it and stuff. It's okay. kind of he's got a good taste in music. Yeah, he does. He does. Yeah, he has he a does. pretty pretty uh, wide palette of music that he, he does. He, he listens to. So he's kind of helping me blend it because you know I'm not someone who listens to just rock music or anything like that. I love hip hop. I have a yeah. you know pretty you know broad genre mixing that I like to do, and it's kind of finding music that mixes everything that I like in it. So, I hear you. So what I kind of fooling around with right now. The thing is, it's hard to find good hip hop. It is. Where did it go? What? What's the terrible hip hop song right now? Terrible hip hop like, song, any, man. Anything that <laughs> anything that came out anything lately. That's t- yeah, anything that's got like two words in it. Like right now, there's like this uh, like really really song that's out. Oh and, my god! Yeah, yeah. And it just repeats yeah. that over and over again. I heard that which shit. Is pretty horrible. Um, I heard that. There's like all these YouTube videos making fun of like different artists right now. I feel like there's there's probably like five really good hip hop artists and 
like Kendrick Lamar is my favorite. Yeah, um, yeah. You got Logic, mm-hmm. who's putting out good stuff. No, I love Logic. He's yeah, good. he's really, really, he, he's really, really good. <laughs> oh, it just happened. See why it's so mainstream, huh? <laughs> but, but no, I just feel like you know what's on the radio and stuff like that's not going to pick it up because I mean mainstream music listeners don't really give a shit about quality yeah, yeah. music. They well, just, the thing is that what, they want what something people, catchy to listen to in a club. What people can relate to these days is uh, well, not these days, but typically people like to listen to something that that tells a story, not stuff about. Um, I don't know what what's a good. I don't know. I don't like anything on the radio. It's hard to listen to anything that I like. That's why I, I, I just, have serious. I, yeah, I, I yeah. I, I I don't know. Like now that I have it, I try to listen to normal radio and I can't. I I'm just sorry. go like Spotify and just plug in my phone. Mm-hmm. Whatever. I'll listen to maybe one radio station just for like the morning show. That's it. I'm sorry, AM FM radio. Mm-hmm. It wasn't working out. It's it's too late. Is Spotify cool? I don't have. It. Everyone, I, I said Spotify, but I really just use Pandora. I just hear everybody else saying that they use Spotify, so I'm like, I use this Spotify. Don't lie, you use fucking Pandora. You're 2000 and late. And you're you got old. commercials. Yeah. <laughs> you got to turn it down a little bit when the commercial comes on. You're like, shit, my shit was about to come on too. Your mix is so broad. How do you get all these different artists on your on this one mix? They were just it was just going from some some gangster rap and it went straight he's into on, Tupperware. He's on Throwback Thursday Pandora. Just yeah. Like, oh yeah, that was a big '90s thing. Like, well, speaking of uh, of hip hop, man, um, who do you think will win in a fight, Godzilla or King Kong? Hasn't this fight already happened? Isn't there like some? There's a Japanese. I'm movie pretty about sure this, I'm there's pretty about sure. 18 movies out there, but who would you? Your opinion? Who Who do you think will win? So, just like boxing, everything mm-hmm. comes down to arm length. Okay, it, it does. Like every fight I've ever seen, if someone got six inches taller than the other dude, I'm like, hey, the really tall guy's gonna win. His arms are longer. Right. I'd have to take King Kong. <sighs> John 100%. Michael. John Michael. Hundred percent King Kong. <laughs> <laughs> well, you are incorrect. No one will win because it's science fiction. <laughs> but it was a good shot, right. you know. I mean, I I really believe King Kong would probably whoop that ass. Yeah. And they say either way, he what the uh, apes and shit are like ten times as strong as humans. Yeah. Well, what the fuck is a lizard? Luckily, Godzilla's not a human. So. <laughs> That's I mean, true. I, I'm I'm arguing against myself, right? <laughs> I see, I see. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you, Godzilla. <laughs> shit. Where are you from? Like Japan or some shit? So, do you, what, what type of music are you writing now? Uh, like I said, I was, it's a little bit of a blend. I Actually, so recently people have compared it to kind of like a One Republic feel because it's not necessarily rock. It's not, you know, it kind of blends a lot of things. Actually, 21 Pilots has been a huge inspiration for me. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you guys have ever listened to them. Mm-hmm. They've got a, they, they mix a lot of, um, you know, hip hop type of beats with rock music and it kind of goes to some like free verse mm-hmm. in okay. the verses of it to kind of build it so that's kind of been one of fooling around with a little bit um but yeah it's kind of just what are, doing. are you looking to get back into a band or do you want to stay solo no i i i'd like to stay solo mm-hmm. uh i eventually you kind of have to have a band because mm-hmm. any artist does i mean even taylor mm-hmm. swift has band but uh, <laughs> yeah. but yeah. uh she's the best by the way <laughs> Dude, did you see her concert? I, I drove by it that was here in Tampa. She had like 30 semi-trucks surrounding Raymond James Stadium. Yeah, Jesus. And I was, God, her production is out, out of this world. It's got to be on her makes She makes so much money. I know. I didn't know she sold more records than the Beatles. I, Jesus she's Christ. She's like 25. I like her music. Is she, she's, still, she's single right now, right? Yeah, until Brandon meets her. Hey, no, no, I, I Brandon. Like her I like the song. It's going to be for forever. All right. She's listening to our podcast right now. What do you got to say to her? Listen, Taylor. <laughs> He drops the R and B deep voice. Listen, Taylor. Hold on, my, my voice squeaks. Uh, R. Kelly. I just hit puberty. Okay. Oh, Twelve-year-old shit. Taylor meet twenty-one-year-old Brandon. All right, All right, Taylor. So I've been watching you for a long time. Yeah, I know you try to get on BET. You damn right. But if it's gonna be for forever, we can take this way too far. <laughs> Wait, did you I don't say think that? You can pick her up with her own lyrics. I, I think Brandon clearly said, "I know you're trying to get on BET." Is, yeah. is that what you just said? I don't know. I had nothing. <laughs> you should say CMT or something like I that. I imagine that she hasn't, though. I mean, if I'm going to roll the dice and you know put my money on a bet, I don't think she's been on BET. No, I, I think, think so. she has because she did that song with uh, Kendrick Lamar. But that I bad think that was forced. That Bad Blood song black is on. People is on hate BET. Taylor Swift, but they love Kendrick. They do. Do black people hate Taylor Swift? I don't know. Have you ever heard a black person say I like Taylor Swift? <laughs> Maybe Kendrick Lamar. <laughs> yeah. To, yeah. to record this. Gotta do this damn track with Taylor Swift. The fuck? <laughs> That's what but he I'm said. Like, I'm just trying to be diverse and shit. <laughs> That's it, man. Shit. I'm trying to be divergent and shit. That's it. It's a good movie, by the way. Mm-hmm. You know. I know, I know he was telling me that uh, you are, are of 
Puerto Rican descent. I mean, I am. unfortunately, I am too. Um, <laughs> what is a what is a Puerto Rican stereotype that you believe to be true? Let's well, let's do some disclaimers. Go. Let's go ahead, man. And I'll th- and if you feel uncomfortable, I'll throw one first. I don't mind. Uh, one that's not true to me, or one that is true to me. Let's do both. Do give me one of each. All right. Um, let's play a game. Go. You picked. You t- you name two. He'll try to guess which one's fact or fact. Yeah. <laughs> picked a, a fake one and a good one. Let's see if he can guess it. <laughs> is, is, is this the, the Puerto Rican battle? Is that what it is? Impromptu like, games. <laughs> <laughs> Being that Brandon is body de corazón. That's what he is. <laughs> Siempre. <laughs> all right. Two that I can I can think of. Um, all like. Hmm. All Puerto Ricans can dance. And all Puerto Ricans wax their eyebrows. Hmm. Puerto Ricans all wax their eyebrows. <laughs> He's looking at your eyebrows. <laughs> I did. I was like, I was like, I know I did mine yesterday. So. <laughs> you got those itty bitty eyebrows though. I do, man. This is what I do. Like I just take the trimmer thing, the little the little edger thing, and I just like because my eyebrows like they they connect with my hair. You got so, those prison eyebrows though. I do, man. Look, I I just use a blade and just mm. just well, cut skin off. So I have to be honest. I mean, I I do myself, but. Mm-hmm. There, I mean, let's be honest, man. It kind of gives us a bad look, though, because a lot it of does. Puerto Ricans do like that girl arch, and then yeah. you just kind of the I moment know you say you're Puerto Rican and you look like you wax your eyebrows, you get a stereotype. You do, you, you do. Know? So you're you that steal shit. His, you're that pretty Hispanic yeah. person, right? <laughs> <laughs> you're that guy that's that takes forty five minutes exactly to, to get go to ready work, yeah. to go to the gym. <laughs> it's, and it's true, and it's true. I know plenty of guys at work that are Puerto Rican who have like the fucking McDonald's eyebrow arch. Yeah. It's and it's crazy intense. I can't get that defined, you mm-hmm. know. I just hit it with the fucking best shot and I fire away. That's yeah. it. And it's all I can do. Yep. But my, I got some serious, like, my. I don't even have eyebrows. It's just forehead brows because it covers the whole fucking thing. It's like a head, <laughs> like a headband, you know? Mm-hmm. It's pretty serious and intense. You got those skinny eyebrows, though. It almost now looks unnatural. Because, no, now because I took, I took them down. <laughs> like, what do you, you mean you took them down? Just, what, I, I, I shaved them down. I really did. Like, if you look, you can see, like, the... the you didn't need to lower your glasses. I see how... No, look at them boys. Look, uh, you're not looking hard enough. Painting vigils for yeah. people listening to the podcast. You got the five o'clock shadow, though, on your eyebrows. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you can see where it's, it's like, marked up. Like, you got to clean it often, and I don't do that shit. I'm lazy with it. Uh-huh. So, I kind of just say, fuck it. Mm-hmm. I think you're good with a little bit of five The good thing about being white is I have, like, blonde hair, so you can't really see. You know what I mean? You're, you do your eyebrows too, bitch. What the fuck are you talking I about? Do. I do. Yeah. You know what? He, who, but he is he is like Barriqua from like the, yeah, the guy who goes to Barriqua. Me and him are actually the opposite. Yeah. Like if, you, if we really got into this conversation, because I'm basically like I always tell people I'm Mowgli from okay. the Jungle Book because yeah. I'm adopted. So I, while like while I am Puerto Rican, I was raised by white people. <laughs> John Michael, or in, this, or in this instance, wolves. Uh, John, <laughs> so, I mean, John Michael's so white that he used to wear etnies. I did used to wear etnies. <laughs> I did. I had really? all kinds of colors. Yeah. Yeah. Shit! <laughs> in every uh, color, and my laces matched the color. Even, <laughs> it was like white with green. You green know what's funny is I didn't. I didn't even know how to pronounce that name. <laughs> I'm thinking the whole time I'm like so so neat, so Neither so, did he, but he fuck? memorized it once I started wearing them so much. He's like, do you only have one type of shoe, and they're all that type of shoe? What, is it? what is the name? I'm gonna Google. It's it. like you went to Journeys with the biggest like unlimited gift card. <laughs> Just let, let me away. get everything that's in the white male package. I want those, please. <laughs> I mean, I gotta be honest though. I, my family. I, we didn't have, I would say, I don't think there was one Puerto Rican person in our high school. No, you were yeah. it. We were I, like, I, what I are you? Yeah. That was it. So, so Brandon's like, who are you? And where are the women that are in your society? <laughs> take, take me to your foreign land. Because we're, if you, those are listening, we're from a small town called Fort Meade, population 5K. Not, really? a, not a race. 5K. Shit. Black, white, Mexican, and John Michael. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it, okay, and imagine our football team. It, it take one of those races out. <laughs> the Mexican. <laughs> well, except our kicker. Yeah, our kicker. We did. Oh, he sorry. was 35. <laughs> yeah. What was his name? Flabio, but we called him Steve. Flabio. It was an L he snuck in there. <laughs> what a terrible choice of name, Mom Steve. and Dad. <laughs> I remember people walking up to him after he made a field goal like, Steve, way to go. <laughs> I, don't, I don't get it. Uh, I, I It's not my problem. You got to tell the story real quick about your mom telling you that it's hot outside. My mom, man. My, uh, <laughs> God bless her little heart. She's in New Jersey. Just God rest her little soul just sleeping probably right now. She's not dead. She's not dead. I mean... She's far away, but um, my mom has a heavy accent, man, but she speaks good English. Mm-hmm. So um, 
being in Florida, my mom was telling well, <laughs> she always used to tell me, Gordy, because they call me Gordo when I was younger, because of course I'm fat. I was, I've <laughs> been know? there. I've you been know? there. Gordy, don't forget to grab your shorts. <laughs> what? what was that, mom? Your shorts, pendejo. Grab your shorts. <laughs> Uh, your torch and your teacher. Oh, okay. Now, when she said that, I, I I put two and two together. She just mixed up the words. She's a little dyslexic when it comes to the English language. Your torch and your teacher. My shirt, <laughs> my shirt, and my shorts. Uh, I was a little confused, but I understand it afterwards. My mom has a heavy accent, man. It sounds and she like she's a teacher. Like grab your <laughs> grab your shorts and your teacher. Like, you got a couple of relationships. Why you might do need I need to keep grab my DL. teacher? Uh, Miss Vaughn, are you there? My mom said to come grab you, please. Miss Vaughn, if you're listening, text six four seven six four seven for your Cincinnati bing, Uber. Bing, bing. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> that guy's trying to have a good night's sleep, man. You guys are fucking him around. I, I wanted to ask a question, man. Uh, and I guess being of uh, the Latino, the, the Puerto Rican, you can you can jump in on this too because I really don't even know the answer. I'm. I'm still baffled. Why the fuck is a Puerto Rican and the Cuban flag alike? What's the what's up with that? Why did they just change up the colors and that's it? Anybody know? Thoughts? Um, I mean, I don't give a flying fuck. I'm American all the way, man. America. Who was first? Yeah. Ooh. Oh shit. Because if if the Puerto Rican flag was first, then you got to think the Cubans made it look similar. So they, you know. Oh, he's different. Yeah, but the Cubans <laughs> have Cuban sandwiches. Uh, what do well, Puerto Ricans yeah. got? Uh, actually, you know, you can't. You can't, can't, really you can't tell what Puerto Ricans yeah. yeah. I was about to say, they have, we have women, but then Cuban women aren't like. He's like, aren't like, he's like we have Maltas. Um, we have bootleg movies. We got cockfighting. We got reggaeton. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. I, I really don't know the answer to it, but I mean, it would be a good question. We got for, no state tax? I mean, who, who's, <laughs> that's true. Yeah, right. That's true. <laughs> who's louder, Puerto Ricans or Cubans? Cubans. All Cubans, 100%. All the way. 100%. All the way. Is it, if there's one race that really uh, bothers me a lot more than Puerto Ricans, it's probably Cubans. Mm-hmm. Right. Just They just talk loud, man. And, and they're not even arguing. They just they just speak loud. They're very passionate talkers. They are, man. It could be about nothing. It could be. It, it, it's always about nothing. <laughs> so it's always about nothing. I feel like you can identify a Puerto Rican person by the flag dangling on the rear view mirror. <laughs> yeah. You can identify a Cuban person from the person you hear talking 10 feet away. Yes. <laughs> like yes. That, that, there's a different. Like, they're carrying their flag. They're just carrying yeah. it vocally. Oh, yes. While oh, we're yeah. carrying it literally. And they'll be on the phone <laughs> so loud, too. Or you the can tattoo hear- on a Puerto Rican's neck. <laughs> 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 they they got tattoos everywhere. Now is is a Puerto Rican's like is it true? Is your orgullo really Puerto Rican? To be like Puerto Rican is that really your, what you're proud of? You know, you're not proud to be a good man. You know, maybe you're not proud to be a, a successful uh, young male. You, you know? have to. He, he's raised by white people. Keep that in mind. He's raised by Italians. Mm-hmm. I was raised by no one, man. My my dad wasn't there. <laughs> my mom was like. Always working. I was raised by my brother, and he raised and does like finger glowing show things. I don't know, <laughs> fucking know what the fuck. He's like into that rave type stuff that still? they still. That was like 1998, wasn't it? I feel like it's still it's, it's still there, man. Right it? EDM is big. Yeah. out of the loop. He showed, ah, EDM, yeah. he showed me like he tagged me in a, in a post, man, and this shit was crazy. This guy has got like little gloves with the the little glowy fingertips, and he's just doing like tutting shit with his finger. And when they like backed out and zoomed out to the crowd that was there. It looked like it was like a fucking uh, uh, old school, like a concert where it was just the festivals, you know? It was huge. I didn't know how many people could fit there and, and be willing to sweat and just get punched in the face to watch this guy do the little shit, this stuff. I feel like that's a sign of maturity, honestly. Like once <laughs> you get to once you get to a certain place, you notice as you get like older, as I've gotten through my 20s, I hear you. the less people I want standing near me. While I'm drinking, this yeah. is the truth. This is the truth. Listen, l- listen, ladies and gentlemen. When I was 21, I was completely okay with a thousand people being in within five feet. Of me. Yeah, yes. like, like, let's go. We're all drinking. I bump yeah, into yeah, you. Yeah. You bump into me. We uh, like, hey, I'm, you might be attractive. It's okay. Yeah. Like now at 28, I'm like, I want 10 people in this room, max. Yeah. And, yeah. and I want you all to be on the same type of turned up I am, which is kind of like turned medium. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I don't want you like. Doing Jaeger shots. I don't want you no. throwing up on me. No, you know. But at 21, man, I was like, dude, that girl puked. Cool, get yeah. another shot. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Not today. I just, it's, it's not what I'm feeling. So I mean, like an EDM show, I see him and I'm like, God, I'd really like to go. When to, I was younger, to, I, well, I'd like to go to it today. Stand and, back a little and, bit and have like maybe backstage passes. I hear you. Or 
back row passes. Yeah, let me hear the jazz. Definitely not front the jazz row. section. I don't want to be that person up against the fence, like just getting slammed into that thing. <laughs> yeah, you know, he, he got nosebleeds and stuff, and it's like uh, wasn't even trying hard. I mean, I I would I would honestly go to one just because I mean my my genre of music is pretty. I mean, I, I really listen to anything, man. As far as uh, music, I think, like I told him, bluegrass country is the only thing I probably wouldn't listen to. But if I was drunk enough, I'd probably listen to it. Mm-hmm. But uh, I would Don't take any offense to that, Justin Grimes, if you listen to this. <laughs> no, no, he, he's soulful. Yeah, he told, and, and we, he's he, not that suicide country. No, he let us listen to one of his tracks, and it was <laughs> it was some nice music, man. I was like, this is this is different. It's deep. Yeah. It's it's very deep. Uh-huh. Isn't it funny, like that? Like as some as people who don't like country music, when you think of country music, you go to that. Like <laughs> yeah, it's automatic like, suicide. Like, I'm crying in my beer. My wife left me, and then the she dog, took the dog. dog. She took the dog. Yeah, she, she took, took the dog. That is the, the instant thought that you have of country music. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it, man. Let's let's talk about something real quick. I feel like it's becoming a trend. A lot of women are starting to like something called a sapiosexual. Are you aware of this? No, I'm, this is I'm, a new trend. This is where women are more attracted. It's Sapiosexual is the new abs. Sec- sapiosexual is the new black. It's women are attracted, starting to get attracted to women. Ah, sorry, fuck that up. The liquor's that, talking. That, that is true, too. We got it. That, yeah, that, you're that, right. That, that's right. That's true, but it's not called sapiosexual. <laughs> sapiosexual is when women are attracted to uh, intelligence in men. Hmm. hmm. Fact. She's shaking her head. She knows. We have uh, an audience member. <laughs> Dahlia, Sabaz, Napier. <laughs> we see you. We see you. I mean, I guess it's true. I mean. Well, I think, I would hope to, that that was always true. Well, before, I feel know. flattered now. Well, before <laughs> Thank you, Betty could, Reyes. Before you could always just dress nice to, to impress a girl, you always had to say something nice, but now it's getting to the point where I have to fucking be smart. Like, I don't want to be Hold smart. On. Hold on, this is this is actually a conversation where I feel like me and him are going to team up on you. Yeah. 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 All right, because <laughs> as a white guy, I feel like it has been a layup <laughs> for like most of your life. Yes. Like, it, like yes. okay, so a white guy can put on an express shirt, look like he has a job, and pretty much pick up 90% of the bar. All day. If you're a Hispanic guy or a black oh guy. Oh my God, the struggle. There. There is an instant like where you have to prove yourself. Yeah. Maybe and the white guy has he's to be a, sapiosexual. He's a player. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Well. Now you. Well. So you would. I think it divides itself pretty evenly off look. Like so, there's like Hispanic guys and black guys that mm-hmm. off looking at them, you know if they're piece of shit or not. Yeah. And you can. You, you can read it. You, you can read can, it. You could look at them and just be like, yeah, I'm yeah, not talking guy, to that guy. That guy's a piece of shit. But then you still have to get through the hurdle of like, can I have a conversation with? Oh them? my god, this is like a good guy. Do they, Dude, you know how many white guys I've seen just walk up in a dang Tommy Hilfiger polo, All jeans, day. and etnies? Yeah. <laughs> and they they just, wear the etnies. And just drunkenly stumble into a girl and be like, hey. You, I got a yeah. boat. I'm going to buy you I'm gonna buy you a drink. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Well, I, I, I feel like it's a different hurdle. I feel like it's a – and it, it, you can't even say like, oh, well, that's true if you're hitting on a white girl. No, if it, it, it's even a hurdle if you're hitting on people of your same race. Yeah. I feel like there is that like – that hurdle and I, if they're making you have to be smarter I'm like thank god <laughs> <laughs> thank you that's one up for us <laughs> shit I've been trying at this for you yeah. <laughs> my, my thing for me man I, I, I guess I have the gift of gab mm-hmm. I would just talk to women and I would just make them laugh and I wouldn't even try man I never tried looking for a girlfriend man and I mean I've been married nine years um, and meeting my wife man she was friends with my ex girlfriend. My wife's a trifling hoe. You see that? <laughs> she uh, Small she circle of women he was hitting on. <laughs> she hated me. She hated me at first. And why, did she, why did she hate you? She hated me because she was friends with my ex girlfriend. So my ex girlfriend was just talking it's a shit natural about hate. Me. Yeah, you know she's like, oh, he's lazy, which I was. Um, he he doesn't have anything to offer. Uh, but sometimes you know, I can work with you though because like sometimes the girl it shows. Was, in, she wants interest. She has interest now. So she's like, she has to have that filter. Let right? me see. It. Yeah, because no girlfriend is going to talk to her friend about all your positive. Points. Exactly. Yeah. I think that's what struck my wife's interest, man. Because I, I would, I became friends with her brother, and then um, I started talking to her, and I would just throw like some funny jokes, and I would just see her like trying to hold a laugh, and I'll throw another one, and then she'll start laughing, and then I'll just walk away, like drop my mic, boom, 
<laughs> and then I'll come. Leaving mystery. Yeah. <laughs> go into the mist. I'm, go- I'm gone now. And I would just, I would always go visit her brother and just make her laugh, make her laugh, make her laugh until uh, one day, man, I just, I just told her, I was like, hey, man, we should, we should go out one time, you know, just hang out, me and you. And what did you really mean when you said that? Oh, let's go have sex. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what was the distance between you breaking up with her friend and you dating her? Because I feel like there is a point where there is. she might see him. Yeah. Like, even though it's your wife, I don't mean any offense. Like no. a trifling hoe. No, uh, she was. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, if you're like, well, three weeks later, <laughs> I started no, I, friend, it was. Then. It was not. I mean, okay. I want to. I want to say. I want to say it was about four months. Okay. But my my ex girlfriend already had a boyfriend and shit. So I mean, it was it was kind of like it was cool. She wasn't really talking to her as much. How long did you date that girl? I dated that girl for man. I don't even remember. I, it was like maybe a few months. Oh, okay, then, yeah. Yeah, the girl if was like... a year? She then. was really Puerto Rican, man, and she's probably going to listen to this, but That's fuck sucks. you. <laughs> um, no, she was just like uh, a very materialistic girl, mm-hmm. you know, she... I hate that. Yeah. I like simple women. <laughs> Quote from my dad, always bring home a woman All right. who is just as happy as when you bring home a blender as a diamond ring. Boom, I love you, dad. Ooh. So... I like blenders. <laughs> I'm going to tie this in because he made that story. I have known for a very long time that Brandon did not like, you know, entitled, high maintenance, I hate or that shit. entitled. <laughs> Just be happy, I, like, I can't, yeah. yeah so I hear you. The ultimate representation of this, I, t- I said I was going to tell the story. Go. Was we went to Dollar Drink Night, and <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Let me emphasize that again. Dollar Drink Night on a Wednesday. On a Wednesday, Peabody's in Tampa. Yeah. Now this is this is a girl that Brandon had had liked for a while and he had told me he was going to bring out with us a dollar drink night and let's not say like my money was flowing or anything i just started the job i work now you were um, all right and he he brings this girl he's like hey i got what was it i'm gonna say i had, I had, I had i'm gonna be bucks. honest with Someone you go 20 bucks I, no, no 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 i had 13 dollars. i'll never forget it i had 13 dollars. i had plans of of getting us at least five drinks each yeah. no so, tip no tip no tip it was tip yeah. wasn't even in the conversation and my, my, oh, shit. we we walk in literally id id all right you're all good go to the bar we go to the bar we're standing there, and I turn around, I order whiskey and Coke. It's Dollar Drink Night. You don't throw out a name brand on, on Dollar Drink <laughs> no, Night. No, never, never. You're hoping for Kentucky Mist. <laughs> you're, hoping for, you're hoping for a clear whiskey. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, you're damn and right. He, he goes up and goes, vodka, orange juice, or vodka, cranberry, or something like that. And she goes, kettle one and orange juice oh, with pineapple. Oh, Guess how much no. it was? Nine bucks. Nine bucks. So I'm saying well, that is over. <laughs> <laughs> so he looks at me, and he's like, Hey, like John, I I can't do this. And I was, the worst part was I, I dug out my wallet knowing I didn't have any money, yeah. and I started shuffling. And I said the biggest lie. I said, "Damn, I left my other card at home, and I know I didn't have any money because I only have one card." And so like it was an instant. It was an instant like test of our friendship. At the same time, like I knew I had I had been there. I had been there where a girl ordered way more than I had. I, yeah. I remember having to go pawn jewelry so I could go oh, on a date. Yeah. So I, mean, I, I was sitting there and I was like, take it. I just handed in my debit card. I was like, pay for it. Let's go. And I will, I will never remember the reaction. I will never forget the reaction that Brandon's face had when she said a name Brandon. He goes, <laughs> he looked at me like, are like, you kidding me? <laughs> order name just, Brandon on a dollar, dollar drink night. night. Jesus. You, it, should, you know where? This is where you fucked up. You let her order, man. I, you know, you're right. That's actually kind of true. Because if is. you would ask her, hey, what do you want? And she goes, I'd like a kettle one in the ship. Skull vodka and <laughs> pineapple. You go, good to know. Vodka. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get that Everclear and some orange juice. That's for a $2 drink night. But, but that was the, the instant I think Brandon like realized, like, this girl might be cool to hang out with. But That's it. I'm not dating her. Netflix and chill before Netflix. I think this was before Netflix. <laughs> she, Netflix she, was still Blockbuster. She, yeah, yeah. She would, <laughs> she would have made you buy the DVD at Blockbuster. To watch it at her house, right? Like, you know what? I want that. I want that movie forever. This though. was Redbox and Suck Cox. Are, are you Are you guys still in, <laughs> like? Do you somehow some have uh, some communication with her? You know what? I hung out with her a couple of months ago. I'm not going to drop any names. Okay. I probably won't even say what I want to say. <laughs> okay, but I brought it up to her, and I was like, "What the fuck? I had thirteen dollars, and you ordered a nine dollar Long Island iced tea. <laughs> I ordered. Uh, I ordered it. Now, it wasn't even a bottom of the barrel type. Did you give her like a really small straw so she could suck it on all night? And it just be like, listen, <laughs> just take it easy on that straw. No, you know what I did is I said, hey, 
uh, luckily I had um, some um, <laughs> fuck what steel reserves at home. <laughs> if you've ever had a steel reserve, that's the <laughs> nastiest drink. If you think that Blue Moon IPA was bad, oh, this man. was bad. This is instant cancer. Really it's bad. Is yeah. that bad? It, yeah. And the thing is, like nine dollars for a drink at Peabody's. Peabody's was the place when I lost my job, and, I, and, and my dad <laughs> and, and, my, and my family paid my bills for a month. I had two hundred fifty dollars in my account, and I knew I could go there and not, and, and still have two forty five. <laughs> and, and she went in there and spent ten dollars on one drink. I was like. What? the hell are you doing? That like, hasn't even started. You yeah. already hit you me. I, I could have been drunk and played darts. Funny story <laughs> about that night. That was the night that uh, I had sex with her. Um, she uh, After she, marriage. She had a, uh, what we called, a Harry Puss. <laughs> right? I'm sorry, what was it? <laughs> An uh, area what? A Harry Puss. A Harry Puss. A Harry Pussy. <laughs> um, she, she had the Puss Boots. So, she came over to my place... And uh, right before we were about to consummate, um, she said, hey, uh, I need to go. Do you have an extra razor? And she went to shave that choch, the chocha for the bariquas in the audience. It was That was the most interesting experience I've ever had. She with asked girl. you for a razor? She asked for a razor. She did that at your house? I swear, I swear before the Lord. <laughs> she went in the shower and she shaved that thing for 30 minutes. At your 30 place? minutes? Yeah, at I had enough place? time to say, my, my My $1 drink night went, I was already uh, sober by then. It was pretty funny. Most embarrassing sex story, go. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm sorry, Betty Reyes. <laughs> you don't have to answer so, this. We can move on. I mean, I got I mean, she can't hold me. I was young, man. You're already there, married, you know? There's nothing worse than, right, um, this was some chick. I don't even really remember her name. Some white girl at the time. I was like, I was That's fresh. How it always I, was, I was fresh out of high school, man. So you know he jumped hurdles because <laughs> he's a white girl. This, this chick, right? So this was... After school, we were walking home, and we all just started talking, and it was late night, real quick. So she was telling me that she was horny. I was like, oh, okay. Um, all right. I kind of like, I didn't even want, I, I really had no interest whatsoever. So we sneak to the back park, and when I go um, to, dis, to disrobe the undergarments of, from, of her oh. in the lower area, um, I kind of like, um, you know, sometimes in life you got to kind of like taste it or test drive it before you drive it. Uh-huh. Tasting so, is never test driving. I, 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 I kind <laughs> of, at all. I, I kind of just t- did the old like, that's leasing. Like I dipped, I, I kind of finger dipped, you know, right inside there. And then just like, what'd you smell? Oh Did they man. scratch your nose? Did they just, scratch your nose? Like, <laughs> oh man, I'm asleep. Oh, Woo! I gotta go! I gotta go! <laughs> I left. I left. I did not even dip. I didn't even dip. It was just like I was. Oh my god! There's nothing worse than a pungent puss. I tell you what, <laughs> there really is, god. man. It's it. I it's smelled terrible. some athlete's foot it's smelling terrible. vaginas, and I've left. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> some fungal vaggies. <laughs> Dip that's so that's every so unhealthy. Girl you, every girl we ever introduce you from now on is going to make you pee on a stick. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, Brandon, how's it? Nice? It's nice to meet you. I got one of these uh, fifteen minute tests. <laughs> I got this athlete's dick. What the fuck is that? <laughs> oh, oh man, I got a, I got a question for you, Mr. John Michael. How many kids did Joe Jackson have? How many kids did Joe Jackson have? Well, it's a Jackson Five, but I know there was more than that. So <laughs> seven. Yeah, close. Eleven. No big deal. Really? <laughs> it rhymes. Yeah. Eleven. And him and Travis Henry are on a race. <laughs> <laughs> I looked it up and I'm gonna I'm gonna name I'm gonna name all the names just because I didn't even know he I thought I was thinking maybe like seven because he had five that we all knew about. This is of course Michael, Janet, Latoya, Jermaine, Randy, Tito, Debbie, Jackie, Marlon, Brandon, John Vonnie. John Who the Vonnie? hell is John Vonnie what's, Jackson? Was that the French kid? Two people. Jean. <laughs> he has twelve, so he has twelve. <laughs> John Vonnie, I think that's a uh, John Bon Vonnie John. John Bobby. Bon Jovi. There it is. There it is. I that's knew that. Those are resemblance. There. <laughs> that's terrible. Dang. We we are gonna we're gonna take you into a segment. No, no, no. I want, I want to ask something real quick. Oh, uh, let's go. I don't know if, if we can do this or not. I don't know if this is the right place for it, but this is something that I've noticed a lot. This is something that uh, a lot of people. Um, a lot of people talk about, um, and it's something that it bothers me. And as a non-minority, I want to talk to minorities and beg me. I'm sorry. 
Um, who can say the N word? Because I hear a lot of white people say it. I hear a lot of Spanish people say it. I hear a lot of black people say it. Black people can say it. I have a. I, we work with a guy who's Dominican who says it a lot. Yep. Uh, who can I think say you have to get like a a, a pass permit? Yeah. from the people that you say it around. <laughs> yeah. Hey, listen, because, I'm about to say something real quick. <laughs> yeah. No. So I have a. You've hung out with my friends. I have predominantly black friends, uh, and they almost act because I was not saying it like mm-hmm. it was weird. Like I would like <laughs> tote the line of it, like. Just, just say, say it. other things, and they were like, "You can only say dude so much, man. Just say it." And I was like, <laughs> "I was like, no, I don't. You know, I don't, I'm not. I'm not. So I don't want to just like offend anyone. They're like, you're not offending us. Just say it." And then the first time I did, they're like, "John just said the word." <laughs> like they, they like made it real. Like uh, we're in the middle of like uh, McDenton's on Guys Night, and they just like. Why did you say the N word? I'll like, put that right. back in my pocket. Yeah, I can't even text it without adding like all the like proper letters that are supposed to be in it. Yes, <laughs> with, without them like making a big deal out of it. Oh, but, right. Because if I said it, I would immediately say it. Say imp- it. No, Hold I on, can't. Just say it right I, now. No, I can't. Say it, Brandon. No. Brandon, say because it. Because if I said it, I would put in parentheses. I'm sorry. No, like, no. I can't. Go ahead, say it. I'm German. That's as Who far cares? as the N word as you can get. Who cares? Yeah, he is on the opposite end of the spectrum. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He can't. Swastika. That's like you guys are Cricket Wireless and I'm Verizon. Or maybe vice no, no, versa. No, no. According to Puerto Ricans, we're La Crica. <laughs> That's what, I don't know why they call it that. <laughs> You're not going to say it, Brendan? I can't, man. Grow some balls. I can't. You say well, a lot worse things. <laughs> you yeah. talked about smelly you, puss. Yeah, you just said <laughs> athletic at at pussy. Link. Or some shit. At I link. can't. <sighs> Out of respect. Damn it, Brandon. Out of respect to what? To who? See, you're trying to trying to lure me in. No, to who? All 41 of the women you have slept with. You're going to be wondering if that is the, who you're talking about. Oh, man. I mean, I don't use it just because it's not in my vocabulary. I would probably use it, man, if I was probably singing along to a song. Mm-hmm. That's it. Yeah. I, 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 can, I can see that. Because, yeah. I mean, let's be honest. Like Every know, song. Every, like, <laughs> a, a, lot, a, a good majority of them. Hell yeah. Um, but uh, I think there is a... I, like I said, it's it's the people you're around. If you're around a bunch of people you don't know, it's probably in your best interest. You yeah. with white skin and blue eyes <laughs> to not to not <laughs> drop that. Well, um, but, you know what? My um, uh, a coworker of mine was telling me he just came from uh, from Atlanta. He was up ho- at home for uh, for the weekend. He said he went to a Bob concert. Bob did like a I'm gonna bring you up on stage it's a karaoke with Bob or some shit. Mm-hmm. They grabbed this black guy. He sucked. They grabbed this white boy who was country as fuck, he told me. This is his words exactly. He was like, this cat, this cat was country as fuck white boy. And he killed the song. And everybody was all hype. And he said the N-word. And he froze a little bit, but he saw everybody was so hyped about it, it's, it just slid through. He got away with it. Jeez. I, I think it also has to do with your Grab comfort your of the delivery. There's some you, you people, can't, yeah, you there's can't. Some people that <laughs> just don't. Number one, say it right. Yeah. Number one, act right when they say it. Mm-hmm. Number two, handle the moment right. Like if, if you're comfortable and people notice that you're probably from a group of friends or a group of people that it was comfortable for you to say it. Because I got to be honest, I remember playing basketball and this kid that was not black, was not Hispanic, got pushed and he said it mm-hmm. angrily at someone that pushed him. Oh, so and it was one up. of those moments where I went, oh, shit. And everyone We're was just like, <laughs> and everyone just kind of like joked around with him and then moved on. I was like, okay, there was an instant like where he didn't think, hey, I said the wrong thing. He meant it as, dude, or yeah, yeah, guy, right. or bro. Mm-hmm. And it's how you deliver like it, man. But there are certain people where you, you know, you've seen it in every movie where that white guy with the sweater tied around his neck goes says the n word oh, yeah, and right. gives he you the, the awkward high five and no mm-hmm. one puts their hand up. Like, what are you doing? You know. Mm-hmm. So I mean, it's all about how you do it. Mm-hmm. But I have a feeling that the way you would say it. Might be the awkward. I just I want to clear. I want to clear on purpose, though. You would do it to be funny. I would like to clear what word we're speaking of, (laughs) Brandon. I can't say it. So close. I can't. So far. I can't. I just thought all the texters of six four seven six four seven would be really pissed right now. Text us what word you think he's talking about. I want to talk about one more thing real quick. Let's talk about one more thing. This is about online dating, John Michael. Where where did you meet your girlfriend? Go. I, want, I, I can I can I guess I'm gonna chime in. Go online dating. This is this where he met him. 
This is where you met your girl. I met him. I was like, gay. I was. Well, listen, I, in Diane, my mind, I, <laughs> Diane turned the volume down. <laughs> in my mind, I was trying to think uh, online because you you struggle a little bit with online dating. No, I didn't I'm hear terrible it. at it. I didn't hear it, so that's why I said what, and then you just immediately jumped into it, and I was still behind the conversation, and I was like, online dating. That's what he said. Oh, daddy, daddy. I wouldn't, uh, you know, a little touch of the downs there. So. <laughs> Special. I went there. So, 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 so you make a downs joke, but you don't say the n word. Yeah, you see that? You jumped to that one real quick. There's some kid at home I right hate now. The Special pissed. Olympics, but I respect <laughs> the. Never mind. Go. What? Uh, no, you can guess. Oh, he said he was gonna guess. So let it, guess. it has to be online dating, and that's what you said. No. So you get three guesses. Guess three which guesses. site it was. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's not J Date. Or black people meet. How long ago did you meet? <laughs> black people meet. Black <laughs> How long ago was it? A year and three Uh-oh. months. A year ago? Yeah, a year and three months. She, yep. A year and three months. We have confirmation. We have. This has to be Christian Mingle. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. All right. Diane, yes, that is what it is. You're like to my mom, that is exactly what it was. All right. The next one will be. Career builder. <laughs> it's a career builder. It has to be career builder. It has to be. Not career builder. Judging by, judging, by your re- <laughs> judging by your resume, you seem like a perfect partner. You seem oh, like you have the perfect like dick. Partner with partner yeah, with just Diane. Partner with the company. <laughs> uh, number three. Well, number two was a waste. So yeah, number three. <laughs> number three. I'm gonna say it's a dating website. Dating website. Or is it a hookup website? They, well, I mean, what's, what's the, the difference? difference? The, the Kirsten difference Mingle is, is a hookup site, but a hookup site where you hope it leads to marriage. That's how you know you won't catch anything because you go to Kirsten uh, Mingle. According to Conan O'Brien, who's a genius, he had this episode where he did the Tinder van. Apparently, Tinder, you just hook up, and that's it. No, there's, I think there's more in every site. Like, I, I, dude, I know plenty. You, you never read the article about, like, uh, Christian Mingle players? It's Tinder. It just the way he got defensive yeah. is Tinder. It is Tinder. How about I hear it? Is it. Tinder. What, what is it now? There's like Christian Mingle players. Okay. Because women think <laughs> that you're meeting someone that's going to settle down, uh-huh. they instantly are like, I've got to catch him. So I've got to get him. Uh-huh. Protect they're, yourself they're from the Christian to player. Open a door quicker than they're not, they, they naturally would. Uh-huh. And they get played. <laughs> Player's going to play. Mm-hmm. That's so, it. So you met her on Tinder. Met her on Tinder. Okay. Let's hear the opening line. Oh wait! So no, you got okay, you got right, so I, how's that you, work? Because so I've, I've never been on there. The conversation started very commonly, like, "Hey, hey, how are you doing?" Um, th- I would say the more entertaining opening line was when we switched from talking on Tinder to text message. Here we uh, go. Now okay. it's live. Because yeah, cause now it's now it's I trust you with my phone number. Mm-hmm. So she texts and she was like, "Hey, this is Delia," and I was like. Parts department, this is Steve. Nah. <laughs> nice. And that nice. was like the stealing You texted where, that back? Yeah. <laughs> That's courage. And she was like, Hi, hello, Steve. How are you doing today? And she like played along with it. And it was like funny banter back and forth <laughs> where you're like, all right, we're both entertained by this. They seem like normal people. And then it was pretty, it's a pretty quick process. We like talked that day, went and saw Ninja Turtles, the movie, the Michael Bay directed movie. Oh, uh, okay. And, That's about um, that went like hung out that day, hung out the next day, and then pretty much every day that followed that one. So Ninja Turtles, huh? Yeah. Well, it was one of those spur of the moments we had planned a date the next day, and I was like, "Hey, I got nothing to do tonight. What are you doing?" And she's like, "Okay, let's go we'll see a movie." And I was like, "Well, I want to see Ninja Turtles. I love popcorn. Let's go." <laughs> that sounds like a great night to me. <laughs> nothing like ten dollar popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I mean, we met online dating. I would say though that in the year and three months since that. Tinder's like grossly different. <laughs> I read I read on uh, Barstool. I don't know if you guys ever check it out, the Tinder blog. And I'm like looking at what people say, and I was like, God, if I would have read that prior to getting a Tinder, I probably still would have had a Tinder. But I would have had very different expectations of what I was going to get on Tinder. If I would have messaged her hello, I would expect her to go, "You ready?" <laughs> like, it would not have been like have a conversation, hopefully find a girlfriend, you know. But I it, it worked out for me, and yeah. Hell yeah. Testimony. I'm, but I would say not to do it now. <laughs> like, I think if my just little uh, cousin's listening to this, don't go on Don't Tinder. do it. I think uh, for experience, uh, I mean, I've, I've never joined on any 
websites. I think I'm going to go ahead and hop on a career builder tonight when I get home. Well, well when you got <laughs> married, my was resume. there internet? <laughs> I'm going to upload my resume. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. Take this, Betty Reyes. I don't even really think <laughs> Facebook was around when you got married, nine years no, ago. No, man, when I got married, it was still MySpace, I think. Uh-huh. My, MySpace was still What was up. your MySpace song? My MySpace song. What would have been your MySpace song nine years ago? What was hot in nine years? What was it? Nine 90s, years ago. Was it eight, in 2006? 2006, man. I was listening. I was still listening to R and B, and it was dying out. Mm-hmm. I was still listening oh, to Boys and Men and stuff. Is that dead. before Drake revived it? <laughs> <laughs> Notice I didn't say anything just because <laughs> it was a joke. <laughs> Fucking Drake. Um, it yeah. I mean, shit. I was listening to everything old school still. I mean, Boys to Men. I would listen to One Twelve. Whatever. Damn. Yeah. Peaches and cream. Yeah, see that? Peach, peaches and cream. And it, it, that's all I used to listen to. I mean, that, that was my... Um, that was Bone Thugs and Harmony. I still remember oh, that music video, by the way. Peaches and cream, like James <laughs> on the yellow uh, Lamborghini. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think I know the dance. I don't know the dance, but... The guy had, like, a really cool voice. The guy who said that... Uh, uh, when, I, when, I, when I wake it up, peach color, and I can't get up... And You're just thinking about desserts. I'm hungry, man. That's what it is. I feel Shit. Like the popcorn. We're about to have to make deli make some kettle corn. We're about to get that. Get the popping, man. What do you have on your uh, Facebook? What do you mean? My MySpace? MySpace. Because <laughs> Facebook doesn't have that option this now. This is actually going to be more entertaining. What did you have on your MySpace? Girl, shake that laffy taffy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Mr. Bell again. I'm Mr. Jiggle Stick. You know what? I, I want to do that. I hate that song. I hate that song, by the way. Like, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to throw a shout out. Christopher Roden. And Micah Grimes ruined Laugh and Ta- Laffy yeah, Taffy for me. The talent show where they performed it ruined it in I high school. That shit. You know what I had? I, I also I do remember um, Pop Lock and Drop It. I don't know. <laughs> Toot that thing up, mommy, like a rock. <laughs> that was such a bad song, man. I can't believe I was. I you know what's sad is hip hop has stayed the fucking same. <laughs> it really has well, since that era. All right, so you guys remember when they when uh, Puff Daddy did that show where he was like making the band with yeah. rappers? Yeah, remember dialogue. their problem. Of with every rapper they ran through that thing was, man, you got good rhymes, you got good flow, you can't develop a hook. Yeah. The biggest thing that makes an artist is the hook. I feel like now, but since that show, it is a 180. Now everyone can make a hook. Exactly. No one can. Ra- no There's one can, no like, lyrics. No, no one's lyrically flow. inclined. No one can bring yeah. the flow at all. Yeah. Worst song I've heard this year is by Future. Fuck up some commas. Fuck up some commas. It's like how yeah. how mad are you at gr- grammatical like? Wait, language? he says he says what? Fuck up some commas. It's like really are you mad at semicolons. I feel like I feel like, you, I feel like we could go through the worst songs of the year, and most of them would be future. Future. <laughs> He's gotta be on all of them. He might be even featured on all of them. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds. I've never heard that song. Thank God. Thank Fuck up some commas. Fuck up some commas. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. That's the hook. Change your life. What is that? Fuck you! I don't know. It's terrible though. That's, oh, that was some of the lyrics you were trying to. No, 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 no. I'm just venting. Oh, you, you were upset. You I, were no, upset. I really like hip hop. I've listened to hip hop for as long as I can remember, and I can remember back a few years. And that was that's, that's far bad. back. That's far back. You were 21. Is it weird that I still have a MySpace? Like I don't ever go on it. I can't go on I don't it. Think, I don't think you can delete it. To, I've tried to delete it. You can't. I can't log in. I don't remember mm-hmm. my password. And the email that I'm using isn't the same email I have now. And I'd never be able to log into that again. So <laughs> you know what? I think everybody should grab their phones, <laughs> look up their MySpace account, and just see like what's your what is it status or some shit you could mm-hmm. put on there. I want everybody to look up what they got on there. I have a weird, like, striped green and... It's dark green and light green striped hoodie on. <laughs> I think I had a lip ring With back then. I did. I had a, li- I had a lip ring. Lip ring. Well, you had, like, the... I had, like, he the, went uh, punk. The side uh, yeah, I, Okay. I, I, I he, got really skinny. You, I spiked my curly hair. But have you ever seen uh, Wedding Crashers? Yes. You know the guy that... The, 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 the son? <laughs> <laughs> Death, yeah. you are my bitch lover. <laughs> John Michael had, one, had his bangs over one eye. <laughs> oh shit yeah. my military ID does me damage I want okay so Brandon I lost my ID for like well I I don't know I didn't have a driver's license for a little while I lost it at a hospital and um I used to have to get into bars using my military ID which has that hairdo in it <laughs> dude at one point security guards passed around my ID laughing at it <laughs> and, like they're like we're never gonna give you 
give you hell for like coming in without an ID because you showed us this picture and you had the balls to do it. And I was like, that's not a good thing. So every time I go to McDenton's, if they if I ever show them that, they're like, oh, this is that guy that had the weird it's hair. It's him. <laughs> Fucking IDs. Always showing the truth. My ID's pretty bad, too. I got the old school ID. So I haven't even gotten the updated one. No what big deal. Yeah. Yeah. It shows like uh, I look so Chicano. Like, really Mexican, man. And, like, a mug shot, and I'm bald as fuck. Like, no facial hair. I think I have no hair on the top. I'm just riding out like Butterbean. <laughs> it is true. And it's true. That's a fact. Uh, you look like a uh, an amoeba. <laughs> an amoeba? You know what an okay, amoeba is? I know what an amoeba is. Something that has no shape. <laughs> Mr. Harris, what is an amoeba? <laughs> Mr. Keister, are we ready for... Uh, we're ready our for favorite, our favorite so, game. Something we call spell and tell. Spell and tell. Spell and tell is where we give you three words. Three words. You have to spell them out. Spell them out. Mentally. Mentally. Can't take any notes. No notepad. Notepad and notes. Um, you seem here like we a, go. You seem like a smart kid. He is. Yeah. He should get this. We have no one has um actually. We are undefeated. We are undefeated. Hmm. We are. So if I we're the Carolina it, Panthers before yesterday. If I can't spell it, what do I have to do? Uh, I don't know. Nothing really happens. The bells chime. Tell a story involving that word or something like that. All right. So here we go. Word number one. T R E E. <laughs> what? what? I thought I, I was given a word I had to spell. I was spell. waiting for the rest. <laughs> <laughs> word number one. T R E E. So it starts with tree. <laughs> or is it tree? It's tree. Yeah, it's tree. I was about to, say, I was about to think like all of the words that could maybe in a future song they use it for a tree dump. <laughs> number three. All right, so now we'll go to number two. You ready? G R A S S. Grass. <laughs> is that your final answer? He's is, is there more to the word? Than nope. Grass? That's no. it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. He's intelligent though. He is, man. Or you guys haven't lost this one? You guys haven't lost. It gets a little more difficult now. (laughs) (laughs) Word number three. (laughs) R-I-X-T-L. R-I-X-T-L. Is that... Is that the beginning of the word? Or (laughs) the middle of the word? That's the entire word. That's (laughs) the entire word. (laughs) R-I-X... T-L. Rixel? You got it. <laughs> you did it, brother. You won, man. You won. Uh, you did it. For, the, for everyone listening, Rick everyone stole. has gotten it right. Everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you said you're undefeated. I'm like, how do you lose this We're Rick, defeated. Yeah. <laughs> All the time. We're like Every the OA Lions. Yeah, well, no, last, I think, Kiara show, she couldn't really get it. There's yeah. been a Dolphins team that went winless, right? No. Okay. Oh. No, we won one game. It was one in fifteen in like oh seven. <laughs> was Zach Thomas on that team the next year? <laughs> you have Zach Thomas's name tattooed somewhere on you, right? Yeah, it's I'm on sure. the other butt cheek. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even name one person off the Dolphins Dude, team right now. I, I remember Nobody when, can. <laughs> I remember when Brandon showed me that tattoo, and me and Brandon, go, me and Brandon go back a long way. Let me look and, at it real quick. Just while he's saying this, I want to look at this. <laughs> and I remember when he showed me the tattoo. Number one, I didn't think he was old enough to get the tattoo at the time, <laughs> <laughs> and. I looked and you know that feeling of where you have a reputation of kind of being a jerk? <laughs> yeah. Like making jokes when you're not mm-hmm. should. I kinda had that reputation growing up of being kind of like a bully with jokes. Right. And I didn't want to have that right then. <laughs> but I <laughs> couldn't make a, a facial expression to be supportive <laughs> looking at the tattoo. So I was like Oh. That's that's a tattoo. <laughs> I was like, what the hell are you thinking? Like, like, you know, when you're trying to do the right thing and you're mm-hmm. like, fuck it, I'm going all the way. <laughs> I'm going in on this one. We were the only kids, me and Joe Michael, out of, I don't know how many people in chorus, we were doing uh, Grease, the play Grease, uh-huh. and uh, everyone was getting serious. It's like 6.58, the play starts at 7. Everyone's getting serious, everybody's going over the lines, they're studying, and this is when the word crunk first came out. <laughs> oh, <here you> go. <laughs> so we're, we're the only one in like a... a a uh, two guy mosh pit and we're like yeah crunk and then this girl comes up to us and she's like and you need you guys need to get serious because they're gonna be scouts here and we're like oh what? my god <laughs> we're like oh there's gonna Talent be division scouts. one scouts 
<laughs> so Brandon, really said that? Brandon she said started that. screaming she out. Like, Brandon starts screaming out, I'm going to go D1. And I, was, <laughs> and I used to not, I didn't cuss at all in high school. And I was going, I'm going to get a motherfucking scholarship. <laughs> I, just started, I just started yelling that out because I thought it was funny. I was just a guy in the background. That girl must have been so pissed. She was serious. She was so you guys are going to ruin it for everyone. This is the girl that like studied all night. Do you remember your... With I don't pl- even think the, she had a main role this, in the play. She didn't. Do you remember your line? Just a scrub. No, I didn't have a line. We, we just danced. Oh, you we, danced? We, we literally just put the guns up. Yeah. We just do Show, it. Sh- Zuko. Okay, do it again. Go, 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 grease lightning. You're tearing <laughs> up. This is fire. magic. Go, grease lightning. Go, grease lightning. Go, grease lightning. You're tearing up the fire. I feel horrible. it, guys. I feel you know, it. Hold on. I want to send out an apology <laughs> real quick because of what you referenced. Where's the violin? And the person <laughs> who I'm apologizing to knows I'm going to apologize. I apologize to Doug Lewis <laughs> <laughs> and his mom, Miss Lewis. Because I definitely said I hope she got ran over by a bus. <laughs> because at the time, Miss Lewis was so mean to me. Like I like I was, I, was I wasn't really a good student. <laughs> she was a really a duck. She was a duck. Damn. And, and I I don't know was I good in that class? I don't think anybody was. I remember I remember I used to make fun of how she would play the piano, <laughs> like play it behind my back. And so like, serious. Like all, she was so serious. I only chorus. did choruses to get out of class. Yep. <laughs> and free tickets. I would sell my tickets to my art teacher. Free tickets to what? Epcot. We would sing every really? year at Epcot. Yeah, yep. We made dough on the what? tickets. What? Yeah. I'd have flipped those so hard. Twenty bucks a pop. This is before That's it? eBay. Yeah. Twenty bucks a pop. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Chorus isn't serious. Like no one went and got a scholarship to be in chorus <laughs> in college. And she would take it so seriously. <laughs> And she would yell at me for leaving to go to a playoff football game. And I'm like, guess what? I can really get a scholarship. I can really get a scholarship for this. <laughs> and I, I would just, man, me and Miss Lewis would butt heads. And I would tell, I would all the time tell her son, Doug, man, there's just some days, Doug, where I just oh. hope your mom gets hit by a bus. Oh, and he would be shit. like, you know, that's my mom, right? And I'm like, I know. And it would probably be sad. <laughs> but, man, my life would be easier. <laughs> It'd be better for you, too. That's it. It That's would. what I would tell him. I remember mm-hmm. I said that that day we played Madden and I lost to Joe and I like broke his controller, <laughs> slamming it on the ground. Oh, game rage. Fact, Doug, yeah, John Michael's almost undefeated. He's like 906 and one. <laughs> and what Madden? Oh, boy. This 2006? Was, this I was think like, Brian Westbrook was still playing for the Eagles. Oh, right shit. Then, so this like, Mc, McNabb was still good. 04, oh. 05? Damn, this is deep. When you yeah, can back, when you can back pedal, three oh four. You know what? I'm resistant to get an Xbox because through college it affected my life. It was kind of it like it's kind of like cocaine or actually it's crack a, rock. Yeah, uh, <laughs> cocaine is a hell of a drug too. So, so I I remember skipping a lot of classes because I was really really into my season. And you know what? I had some rookies that were in their tenth year, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get these guys to the Hall of Fame. I'm not gonna give up. <laughs> Let's on go. Them. They're not gonna give up on me. I'm not gonna give up on them. No. And I almost, you know, I got a 1.9 through my first semester of my no, freshman year because I skipped <laughs> so many classes. You were that in straight C's and a C minus. <laughs> almost lost me a scholarship. <laughs> oh man, the boys needed help. Thank you, bright futures. Bright futures. <laughs> I think I said futures. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> You're slurring it's a little like bit. A, no big deal. Like a minister right now. Yeah. Black I, I apologize. <laughs> I brought liquor to the, <laughs> yeah. to, to the podcast. Brandon, Brandon's uh, his language barrier right now is a little. A little there, that's the thing. There is a barrier. <laughs> there is. I hear it. Uh-huh. I hear it. It starts with the letter N. <laughs> oh, whoa! Oh, can you, let's go back to that subject. I can't say it. You don't want to say? Okay, cool. I just thought you know maybe you felt a little more comfortable saying it now. No, I wanted to. Uh, I guess see if uh, I can ask one more question. You know, go. As far as I mean, I guess I guess it'd go back to the the Latino deal, but fuck that. You you look like a guy who's in shape, and you were saying you lost weight. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, you, would you consider yourself when you were younger like a heavy set? I don't know. So it's kind of weird. Like when I was a kid, from like. I was pretty thin until right. like fourth grade, and I hit my awkward stage was fourth through sixth grade. I mean, it was awkward. I was chubby. I didn't know what to do with curly hair because every every other kid's white, every other kid's white or black. Black so white it's Mexican, really short hair. John Michael on the black side, and white kids just could do whatever they wanted to. Yeah. It just fell in the right direction. You know, yeah. Jonathan Taylor Thomas syndrome. You know, you're yeah. just like dealing with a bunch of kids with a bowl cut that seemed to look cool. Mm-hmm. So I had like this curly hair that my parents didn't know what to do with. So it was a fro. So I was walking around just with this big fro all the time. Um, and then I went through like football and stuff like that, and I didn't become fat. I became 
awkwardly muscular. <laughs> so yeah. so like it was husky. just like really big, but I played running back. So it was like, you're athletic, but you're not the normal human. We don't know so what to do with we you. We don't really know what to do with you. <laughs> I, I kind of look like that Madden. You know when you would create your own player on Madden? And he'd be like really like bigger than everyone yeah. else? Yeah. Well, I was like that, but short. So, oh, okay. so, so where it went from being big and like, oh, you're like Superman. It was like, yeah, you're kind of like a bowling ball. I was gonna have you five yeah. seven, but now I'm gonna put you six eight. <laughs> so since so since then, I went from being that to like losing thirty pounds and trying to just be trim. Right. So that's my long story of saying that I wasn't like fat. Right. I right. Was just I wasn't in shape. I wasn't in like normal people shape. I look like like. Uh, was it Maurice Jones Drew? Okay, without a contract. <laughs> <laughs> what was your What's your weakness of food? Man, there's a few. Oh, a few. Yeah, okay, a few. that's what I'd like to hear. Uh, so, Man with uh, variety. So number one weakness. <laughs> number one weakness has got to be like anything like cheese fries. Like I have a specific cheese fry that I'm talking about. Ooh. Outback cheese fries. Okay, the see. best. I'm cheese not mad fries at that. What type of cheese? Oh well, Outback doesn't do like that liquid cheese. It's like no. the shredded, like, mm-hmm. m- like Monterey Jack, like Colby Jack. There's a there's a variety there. Kobe. Uh, the, <laughs> <laughs> the, the, se- the second thing is I, I I love popcorn. I will get I will get a small popcorn <laughs> ten dollars shit before the movie starts. Uh-huh. Yeah, no, I agree. Me. I agree. Uh, third thing is chocolate. Okay. Me and my dad are like known for our chocolate obsession. So I so the worst thing I've ever done is Dell you can attest to this. Gotten chocolate ice cream with Oreos on it with chocolate syrup on it. Jeez. I love that's, that's, that's the most triple. That's what you eat when you're depressed. Okay, so <laughs> chocolate fan. Mm-hmm. Did you ever keep the box of world's finest chocolate? Did I keep it? Yeah, you know how when you're doing like the, the what is it the the fundraisers the fundraisers you have to get the the boxes of chocolates. Oh, you know what? I never did the fundraisers, but I supported a few. <laughs> I contributed to the cause. I tell you what, man. When we did Dixie Youth, and we had to sell chocolate, I bought hell a lot of them M and M's. I'm just to be honest with you. Like, Let me go ahead and take some of these. <laughs> Just helping, you know, the community. My mom ran the concession stand for Dixie Youth. You know what I mean? Slices of pizza and stuff I did not pay for. Oh, my God. I mean, I my mom might get arrested for this, but. <laughs> She's got a tab open Ma- still. Ma'am, you stole 30 packs of nachos and oh. gave them to your OB, son. I love nachos. <laughs> you find them in a corner just destroying those nachos. Yeah, That's the sound it makes when you eat nachos. Wind sound. That's the speed. That's the, <laughs> the flick of the wrist, right there. Terminal. <laughs> Look at the flick of the wrist. <laughs> what? What about you, man? What's? You know, you're asking me what's what's your weakness of food? Oh man, everything. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. Um, listen, except I, uh, blue so, moon. So by that you mean pizza? <laughs> huh? So, so that by that you mean pizza? Because nowadays they're putting everything on pizza. Yeah, which and makes burritos. Want to eat it more. And burritos. I mean, I mean, I'm I'm 290 pounds probably. And I'm not scared There's of anything. No way you're 290. Pounds. Fact, fact. No way you're 290. This is pounds. a fact. People that are 290 pounds are like six foot two. Um, unfortunately, I'm only five eleven. So five <laughs> eleven. Am I'm, I five eleven? I was almost as tall as you. Um, it's it's the carpet, man. I was standing on the vinyl. You were standing on the carpet. <laughs> dude, I tell you what, man. You know how much like confidence boost would be if I was five eleven? Really? Uh, I'd be, dude. I'm five nine, and I'm wishing every day. You're probably five eleven. Yeah, I mean, should the lady when I went to go get my driver's license, fifth grade hair, I was five (laughs) eleven. Take that, I might grow back out. (laughs) That's it. How tall are you, Brandon? I'm about five for the ladies. I'm about (laughs) five (laughs) twelve. Nah, I'm about I'm about five nine, maybe five ten. Half, depending on what up, etnies I wear. <laughs> Brandon's making up his Match.com <laughs> profile right now, so I'm a I'm a crisp five twelve. Well, I mean, if Blue you eyes, if you were to try hair. to start your account and using Brandon, mine would be perfect. I'm a slim white male. White? Are you Jewish? With gentle, gentle freckles. <laughs> no. Gentle freckles. I'm a slim. These are angry freckles. I'm a slim, blue-eyed, blonde-haired Puerto Rican. Oh my god! You go, you'll get so many likes. They gonna swipe. What they is can it? like you on that? I don't know. What do they do? They swipe or some shit? I don't, I don't, I don't know. know. This isn't Dora the Explorer. <laughs> hey, <laughs> reference to people who have children. John Michael's in the wind. He's. Like, what the fuck is that? Fuck children. Yeah, fuck them all, man. <laughs> I got three. Self, I'm too I got selfish three. right now. Oh, I hear you. I was selfish seven years ago. Now I have three. I'm no longer selfish. Well, you, you know what it is? is like I'm, I'm at that point where having kids isn't horrifying to me. Because mm-hmm. there's that part of oh. adolescence where it's like mm-hmm. scary. Mm-hmm. 
and I'm at the point where it, if it happens, it happens. I'm okay with it, ready for it. Um, there's just also certain things where I'm also like, I'd like to check this off my box before, so that when my kids a certain age is like, Dad, did you ever do this? I'm like, I did do that. And one of them is to do something in music. I'm not saying I have to be like a multi million dollar recording artist or anything. I just want to be in the music industry in a career form. I hear you. Know, you. Whether it's producing albums or, dude, it could be filming music videos. I, I, hear you. So I yeah. want my kid to go, hey, did you pursue your dream? And me go, I did, and this is where it landed me. Right, you know right. Because, I, mean? I mean, the worst thing for a kid is to say, no, nah, I didn't. I gave up. Right. Yeah. Sorry about that. That's my dog. Hey, is there a dog on the line? I think we got a caller coming in. <laughs> he must have dialed six four seven six four seven. He found the number finally. Yeah. I mean, so yeah, it's, it's true what you say, man. You want to leave something, you know, to, to be able to say. I mean, me, shit. I kid so young, I didn't have that opportunity, but that'd be cool, man. You'd be able to tell your kids, you know, yeah, I was, I, I did dab a little bit in the music industry. But you know, it might even be more impressive to do it while. They're cognizant of it. You yeah. Know, it's one thing for you to tell the story. Like, my dad always tells me, like, you know, I didn't do this. I didn't do that. Right. But I'm impressed by his story in general. You of know, course, my dad, yeah. My dad doesn't have a college education. He's yeah. done, like, a wealth of things. And I'm impressed by that. Whereas I feel like I have a college education and I might as well not. You right. You know what I mean? Because I could basically do my job without having it. I was as intelligent as I was before college as I am after college. So I hear you. I hear you. Bits of you yeah. know, commitment and organization that I learned. Oh, but yeah. uh, no, I think that would be impressive to, you know, to do it while your kids are watching you do it. Yeah, they it see an example, more man. Of a teaching moment. You exactly. Know what I mean? Yeah. So, so uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think there's a bad end of it. Either, either spectrum of it, you want to definitely show your kids like, hey, I wanted to do this. I did it. Mm-hmm. You know, and if I never made it in music, I would at least be able to tell them, I gave it a shot. You I gotta at least shot. try. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. I mean, that's what we're true. doing with this podcast. Yeah, giving it a shot. Well, we're not gonna give it a shot. We're gonna we're gonna make it, and yeah. that's it. I mean, I, I wanna, don't. I want to be able to at least tell my kids, you know, at least I tried. You know what I mean? I have no plans to fail. But yeah. I'm at least gonna. I, the only thing I'm guaranteeing this world is I'm gonna fucking die. <laughs> Like that's one thing for sure. Write I'm it in our book. Die. Those are two separate things, by the way. He yeah, it was. It did. And, <laughs> and. <laughs> and as we've heard for a few of Brandon's stories, those weren't pleasant. All of them. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Brandon! Well, ladies out there, shave your crotch before you come over. <laughs> oh, they can they can just uh, call uh, our last sponsor, Pube Dudes. Do you do realize that if you hung out with this girl recently, she knows who she is now? Because no, she does. I didn't drop any names, but, but I hung you, out with her. You, you, put told, her on, you, you might as well say her name. Very specific story. <laughs> yes. You might as well just say her name. That's man. the most funniest thing because when she got done shaving her nice pubes, she see. immediately came to my room. Then I had to look her in the eye, <laughs> still maintain the erection, knowing that she had to come shave her pubes. What did you do with the razor blade? Did you look I in threw the it tub? Away. Did you look in the tub? Huh? Did you look in the tub? No, nah, no. Nah, she did a good job. She cleaned up. Now, because I looked in the tub, I wanted to see if there was a glob of hair. There wasn't. Really? She took care of business, which makes me kind of scared because that probably wasn't her first time. Yeah, that's this true. Happened, this happened probably three or four years ago. You gave her like a, a brand new razor? A oh, fuck yeah, brand Well, hey, you know what? It's brand new to you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Brandon razor. <laughs> I can imagine. It's just a hand-me-down. No big deal. I guess Judging by the story we told of the dollar drink night, I don't think that was a new razor. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's fine. I threw it away. Put that on the tab. That's there her was problem. no Dollar Shave Club back then. Like that. He's like razor blades are on John Michael tonight. <laughs> Let's make a quick stop and go buy some razor blades. I'm gonna keep this uh, card. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, so I mean, at, as far as uh, Mr. John Michael, we uh, we thank you again. You know, um, for the opportunity for coming to your home and you know taking us in. Offering us delicious liqueur. Oh, the liqueur. I did. Mm, this is what? It's uh, Johnny Walker Double Black. In your heart, Cheeky Pop. Some guy I work with who drinks this shit. And he, he th- like this. That's what, that's what I've been doing the whole time. I drink the same thing. It's, I chugged it's, it. It's, it's, it's tough. It's tough. It's I mean, very, I'm very hopeless. peaty. It doesn't taste terrible. If, no, it does. Okay, so Johnny Walker's like a a specific taste. You know what I mean? Right. So it's kind of one of those things that grow on you. I remember the first time I had it, I was like, oh, this is a little rough. Yeah. And then the more you get into it, it's kind of like, man, what am I, 
you know the first time you had spicy food? Uh-huh. I mean, you're Puerto Rican. Yeah. You remember the first time you had spicy food? <laughs> 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 yeah. and like, yes, I do. You're like, you're like, Man, Breast milk. Yeah. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Just kidding. That's weird. So you're like, <laughs> not really. This is kind of rough. And then you're like, okay, then the second time and the third time, you're like, I kind of like that extra flavor. That's yeah. what I would have associate Johnny Walker or a scotch or a, even a whiskey too. It's like not something you naturally find right. good, but it's an acquired taste. I feel like the more I sip it, the, the easier it gets to drink. <laughs> my, it's called drunk. <laughs> <laughs> my tongue is a little numb. I no. can't feel my face. <laughs> so, so if you like progress to the different layer, layers of Johnny Walker, I feel like Johnny Walker is the closest. If you ever had like the blue, which is like the, the top, it's a very airy feeling when you drink it. So that's probably what I'm feeling right now, Jack. Here we go. What do you got there besides an empty cup? Hey, Brandon is feeling some type of way. <laughs> that's true. This must be a country song. So, do you got anything to add? That's it, man. I'm I'm all out. Um, I fold. We want to thank John Michael and his whiteness and his ethnies for joining <laughs> us on episode eight of the Keister and Too Heavy podcast. If you could let us, uh, any, any of the listeners know where they can find anything you got out there, any projects or just yourself, Your music, social media. Yeah. Uh, well, you can always find my first real project, uh, The Reverie, on Facebook or YouTube. You can find that. Uh, the newest stuff I'm working on right now. I'm going to be in the shop for a little while, just... Uh, Kind of game planning some different things. I'm hoping to put it out on YouTube. I'm going to do some covers, put it out there just so you can get used to the voice and the style. And uh, so I would keep posted. Uh, I'm sure Brandon's going to share it whenever yeah. I do. Any yeah. planned open mic nights? Anything like that? You know, uh, Delia's pretty hard on me about that, like trying to get me to do it. It's mm-hmm. something that I'm like Talent's really, Talent's a terrible really thing to waste, they say. It well, is. You know what? So I before the project I'm working on now, which will go nameless, um, I was thinking about this thing uh, 28 years late. Mm-hmm. was the the title of my thing because I would started music like really young like at 18 and mm-hmm. then I, I like worked on it forever until I was like 24 and then took this like four year you know sabbatical of where mm-hmm. I was like oh music's never gonna happen and then dude people started reaching out for at, reaching out to the reverie like for hey in Detroit in England in like different parts of the world like we want to hear more of this voice of who's writing this and while I won't say I wrote everything um like I would say probably fifty percent of the music I wrote, and then the other fifty percent was Eric and and Dan who like contributed a, a, an immense amount to the to what the project was, and I was like you know what I I probably have something left on the table I can do I don't know what that sounds gonna be it won't right. be what the Reverie was but I want to give something back to it I want to try to do something with it and uh, I think people are gonna be pleasantly surprised with what I come out with it's just coming out with it and mm-hmm. like you said not wasting it you have a timeline. Mm-hmm. I would like to say by May 5th, I'd like to have... Cinco de Mayo. Cinco, yeah. Cinco de Mayo. Boom, 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 by the time boom, boom, of the boom, next boom, big boom, boxing match. Was that Billie Jean? That was <laughs> Mexican <laughs> music. Yeah. Mexican Billie Jean. You gotta, put, you gotta put like the tuba in there, like boom, boom, <laughs> boom, <laughs> boom, <laughs> boom, <laughs> boom. And then like the accordion, like... <laughs> That's not an accordion we love, Mex- <laughs> we love Mexicans, by the way. It's like a horror movie. <laughs> that accordion no, would turn into a synthesizer very quick. <laughs> but by my 29th birthday, I would like to have some stuff recorded, and I would like to at least have an EP, which is about five, three to five songs out for people to listen to, and uh, to hopefully have a direction of what I'm going with. So That's, what I'm that's where we're at, too, and our mixtape will be about three tracks. We do have a track out. What is it called? Um, well, we have two tracks, actually. We have, um, well, actually, we got to redo one. It's going to be called That's Bay. Mm-hmm. We have that one. And, and then the second track is called Dunk That Ass. Um, this is a pop. That's, but do you mean that? So does that also correspond with his, uh, like, uh, stinky puss? You got and it. Where it means to wash it? <laughs> um, no, that's that's one of our other tracks that we're actually working yeah, on. We got a third track that we really want to. Um, he really wants to lean towards reggaeton. I hate reggaeton. The, no, the I thing do. is that we. Well, that's because he's white and Puerto Rican. So I mean, <laughs> he loves, I just love. He's Spanish going women, to man. like the most stereotypical music form of a Puerto Rican. I know. I just like Spanish. I, women, I said man. I'll do it just because he loves it so much and he loves the Puerto Rican culture. I was like, I'll do it. I hate it. But I'll do it for you. Well, let's, he is Mr. Worldwide. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Um, I mean. Yeah, I mean, the listeners, you could also find us YouTube. Um, we just posted a couple of videos on there. Um, I think we're going to kind of veer off of SoundCloud for a little bit and uh, and just strictly stay on YouTube because um, we can upload more videos. Um, I mean, it's just sound sound really audio. Mm-hmm. Um, but you can find us there, Keister and Too Heavy. 
the number two. It's all one word. Keister and Too Heavy. You can find us there. Also find us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Twitter. Um, make sure you follow us there. Share, nay nay, all that stuff you got to do to it. I don't know what they're doing now. What new buttons they have on that uh, that social media thing? But but look out for it. Dunk that ass. That's dunk that's, that ass. One of our bigger songs right now. Um, dunk that ass is uh, it's, it's going to be a big hit. It's popular, especially by the in the UK. Because <laughs> um, it seems like they'll follow anyone who has. Any type of rap, um, dunk that ass, <laughs> dunk that ass. Uh-huh. Uh huh. So, so as far as I'm sorry, that, <laughs> well, I don't know why you picked the UK. You've, you've offended a country <laughs> <Yeah>. now. <laughs> you could wipe them off the list. Um, as for Mister Too Heavy and Keister and John Michael, what are you gonna go by, real quick? What are you gonna? What's your What's your music name? What's your artist name? So. I've been quietly debating this in my own head whether it's just to John Michael or JM. Because uh-huh. now, like when I was younger, no one ever called me JM. And uh-huh. then as I went through college and like through life, people started calling me JM. So I think I might just do two letters and just do JM. Cause Maybe. John Michael's a mouthful. I mean, why not J Michael? It is. <laughs> well, I don't know. That's actually kind of cool. J Michael. I kind of <laughs> like J Michael. J Mizzy. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Put it on the list. <laughs> no, but, but whenever I say John Michael, all my Puerto Rican friends, which I do have a few now. Juan Miguel. Yeah, I do have a few now. And I go, John Michael. They're like, yeah, we can tell you were raised by white people. Because you look <laughs> up and we see you. And then you go, I'm John Michael. So, John Michael. <laughs> so it might be just JM, but I don't know. Yeah, it, it, it'll be to be determined. Right. For now, TBT, TBT, DBD, and it's not so bad. EBT, it's determined. All right. Well, I mean, good night. Um, make sure you stay tuned. We will be posting uh, clips and bits of our next episode. Um, again, as for myself and Keister and John Michael, we want to thank everybody for joining us on episode eight. Good night, friends. I hope you had a good time. Cause he's brown, he's white. I'm not gonna bend a plea for you to come back to me. Um, where can I find you at? Find us on SoundCloud, IG, Facebook, Podbean, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube.